Catnap looked 10 times as scary when he catches us. After powering the counselor's office and redirecting its backup generator to Playcare statue, the player is given the final battery required to power the gas production zone a second time. But as the player makes an attempt to place the battery into a socket, Catnap catches you off guard and forces you to flee through an elevator. And during this moment, the red smoke clouds Catnap's body and he begins to distort, giving him this ghastly white, slender, and skeletal looking appearance. But why does this happen? Well, earlier in the game, we inhaled the gas in Home Sweet Home, and we end up hallucinating this nightmarish looking Huggy Wuggy, and this is probably the exact same thing happening right now. Catnap is already creepy with his original appearance, but did you know this about Miss Delight? Before Chapter 3 officially released, content creators were given a pre-release version with one almost unnoticeable but story-altering change. In the current version of the game, Miss Delight moves only when you're not looking at her and would freeze when you are. However, in the pre-release version, she would only move when the lights were off and freeze every time the lights flickered back on. Although this seems like an intentional change, it's unknown as to why the developers decided to do so. Perhaps because it would contradict the fact that Mr. Light would break the generator and cut the power off completely, so the lights flickering wouldn't make that much sense. There are many facts about this character, but Kissy Missy is one of the only bigger body experiments that was not made from a child. My theory is that Kissy Missy was Patty Hall. She was an employee working as a toy designer, and she intentionally sabotaged the paint machine, making Playtime Co. lose a lot of revenue from her intentional sabotage. And we found a notice of disciplinary action saying, employee is demoted from toy designer and will be sent downstairs to Storage B to receive further instructions. Well, the only other time we see Storage B is in Kissy Missy's lost footage, where employees are moving Kissy Missy from Storage B to Play Care. More evidence to back this up is what we find in Chapter 3. These drawings tell me that Patty Hall was the bigger body of Kissy Missy while the children were still alive in Home Sweet Home. Meaning as the bigger body, Kissy Missy bonded with these children. And Kissy Missy was not in child. <laughs> Catnap kneeling to the prototype is an act of acceptance, which leads me to my second theory. Catnap understands that he has failed and submits to the prototype, putting all of his trust into him and allowing himself to be a part of him, with the prototype's plan being to make himself and Catnap stronger in the endgame. Now, what do I mean a part of him? Well, if you remember what happened back in Chapter 2, after surviving Mommy Longleg's rigged hide-and-seek game and just barely escaping into a nearby room, the player then traps Mommy Longlegs in a grinder and activates the lever, brutally killing her. But after this, a mysterious claw-like hand appears from the bottom of the partially closed door and drags Mommy's severed torso into the dark before the door to the right opens and the player is let back into the game station. But listen to what Mommy Long legs says as she's being killed. <laughs> Now, judging by the few glimpses of prototype that we see, that being his claw, it's pretty safe to assume that this thing probably doesn't have the right type of body to do everything himself, which is why he has catnap and a bunch of other toys under his command. <laughs> I was our character in Poppy Playtime, not at the hour of joy. And where were we supposed to be? 
Spoilers ahead for the third chapter and full playthrough of it on my channel here. During chapter 3, we learned that we were an employee at Playtime Co. and returned to the factory to find out what happened to our co-workers. Poppy then shows us the Hour of Joy tape showing us all the horrific things that happened to our co-workers, but why weren't we there? We enter Home Sweet Home, hit with that red smoke that makes you hallucinate. And while walking around the halls, we hear a radio playing a message backwards. I reverse the audio for my gameplay, and the message talked about how our presence was needed 10 years ago, and that we missed the event, we missed the party. Your presence was demanded 10 years ago, and you didn't show up. 8, 8, 1995. You were supposed to be here. We missed the event. Now Poppy says they targeted everybody, guilty or innocent. We know the guilty people were probably the ones behind the testing going on at Playtime Co. And the creatures that went on that rampage probably did so out of revenge because of what those people did. Again, why was our character the only one to not be at the factory that day? Why were we the only one to survive? Now again, it might just have been by chance that we survived, but maybe there was something more at play that kept us alive for a purpose to come back later and stop the prototype. I hope in chapter 4 we learn more about the Hour of Joy, how we survived and for what purpose, and what was going on with- They says, fetch! Go, go, as far as you can! Why are you- just standing there. You can't be here. You can't stay. 